How do you fix the add to cart to see product details bug? I will answer that in today's video. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. This podcast is sponsored by Alpha Raven House. If you want to triple your daily sales by ranking your product at the top of page one at 10% of the usual costs and getting verified reviews along the way, they're your solution. Check them out at alpharavenhouse.com. All right, so this issue here, you can see, um, normally you would see a price tag right here where you could see uh, what you're actually paying for when you hit add to cart. So if you hit this add to cart button right now, it will then reveal the price to you. This is a weird bug that is, and the reason it occurs is called minimum advertised pricing. So a lot of retailers have had this um, uh, rule in place that you can't sell my item below X price. So Amazon created a field for this information. Most sellers don't realize that they fill it in sometimes when they set up an automated pricing rule. And so whenever you go below that minimum advertised price, it can do one of two things. It will either A, strand the item and give you a price alert, or B, do what it's showing here. It'll let you go below the minimum advertised price, but you won't be able to uh, be in the buy box with an add to cart button and price unless somebody physically adds it to the cart. So that's why this problem occurs. Now here's how to solve it. Um, this is gonna require a template upload and what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Seller Central account, go to Inventory, Add Products via Upload, go to the section for Download an Inventory File, pick the one that's appropriate for your category. Chances are it doesn't really matter how close you get this right, so just download any template at all. It'll be just fine. And the reason for that is because when you open up that file, and I'm showing you on screen now, um, you're only going to do a partial update. You're going to basically come in here, fill in the SKU number, Every other field pretty much won't matter except the ones I'm going to talk about. SKU, price, which is the standard price column here in M at the moment. Partial update. This is really, really important. You don't mess this one up. If you fail to put partial update on this template upload, you will wipe all the data for your SKU. Do not mess that up. I'm going to repeat this because it's so important. Anytime you do template up work, uh, loads to an, to an old item already in your system, always, always, always put partial update. Uh, otherwise, you will wipe out fields you're not uploading. So please, please, I don't want to hear any sob stories in the comment section. you got to get that one right. Really, really important. Um, or hire a pro like my Amazon guy to do it for you. And then finally, the other field that matters is the minimum advertised price column, which is in column DS at the moment. And you can see here um, I filled in the number 20. So if, if the item is currently selling at uh, 21, and the minimum advertised price was previously 25, then lowering this down to 20 would fix the problem because you need the minimum advertised price to be lower than the actual price you are selling it at. And, and that's what uh, the minimum advertised price is basically this check stop. If you're below this check stop, it stops the item, won't let it sell. And that's why this occurs. So after you fill in this template with, again, the fields for partial update, SKU, minimum advertised price, and standard price, you then come back over here and uh, hit check and upload your inventory file. Go to step two, inventory files for non-media. Choose the file type and then upload it here. Put your email in if you want to see if you get any error messages and hit the upload button. Following that, you can go over to the monitor upload status, check your batch ID and see if it went through. This should fix the problem within 10 to 15 minutes and you should then come back to this page and just simply hit refresh and it should be fixed by that stage. So uh, if you need help with this or anything else, leave a comment on this video with any questions you might have. We're happy to give you some free advice in the comment section. Um, we have a really popular service we're talking about right now for listing reinstatement. If you have the page not found dog page, you have a yanked listing. Hire my Amazon guy at myamazonguy.com. Go over to our service section for listing reinstatement. For 500 bucks, we'll get that listing put back up for you. It is rather complicated to do on your own. And if you're losing thousands of dollars in sales while your listing is yanked, this service will pay for itself in less than a day. So hope you guys check that out. Uh, my name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy.